Hello, this is Anthony Perez, and this is my Pecha Kucha presentation for professional communication and presentation. Now, there's a lot of things about the history of our country that I'm not too crazy about. But one thing that I do absolutely love is that we've probably had the greatest uh, experiment with liberty and freedom uh, of all history. And that's because our founders, they, well, they believed in liberty, and they believed in granting us our freedoms that were guaranteed to us through the greatest constitution that's ever been drafted in the history of mankind. And that granted us inalienable rights like freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of protest, uh, the right to a free trial, uh, the right to be secure in our persons and property. But what people don't realize is that many of those rights have now been taken away. They've been stripped away by something called the USA Patriot Act for short. Um, the reason a lot of people don't realize this is because it's not directly affecting them yet. Uh, what is affecting them right now is that our country is spiraling down an abyss of war and debt and unemployment and bankruptcy, uh, loss of rights, loss of privacy, and, and massive corruption in businesses and in politics. Uh, this is not the way our, our founding fathers envisioned the country turning out. So, uh, well, what's the solution? What can we do about it? Well, I think that since we actually have the right to vote, I think we should vote for somebody that we trust who will actually defend the concepts of liberty and who actually has a plan to do this and to fix the country that he's willing to show to the American people and not keep in secrecy. And I think that the only person that falls into this category perfectly is Ron Paul. Uh, Ron Paul's been consistent with his message for over 30 years, so that means that we can trust that when he gets into office, he's actually going to do the things that he's been talking about all these years. A and his voting record uh, is the only one that can withstand that kind of scrutiny to show that. Uh, not to mention he has a plan that he has on his website that he's, he's showing to the people right now. Now, when I talk to my friends and family about Ron Paul, the big question that comes up is, well, what would a Ron Paul presidency actually look like? Um, you know, that's because a lot of his conservative views that were the same views as the f of the founding fathers, now they're considered radical because things have changed so much. So, well, the first thing that we would notice is that all the U.S. armed forces would come home. That's not just the ones from Afghanistan and from Iraq, but also from Korea and from Japan and from Germany and from all the 150 countries that we're currently occupying. They would all come home and that would make so many Americans happy that, that it would increase the gross, gross uh, domestic happiness of the country, which is a great way to start a presidential term. Uh, also, he would immediately cut spending by over a trillion dollars. As you can see, uh, this line represents the current central banking office budget up until the year t to, uh, 2016. Uh, this is the Ron Paul budget. Uh, you know, how do you make such drastic cuts without affecting millions of people? And the way you do that, well, you have to make some bold choices. And Ron Paul's definitely the guy for this. Uh, he immediately has a plan to cut uh, five departments that are, that are responsible for wasteful spending. Five departments that have no uh, conductivity to the production or the prosperity of Americans in general. Um, another big move, a bold move you'd have to make is you'd have to work to audit and uh, phase out the Federal Reserve, which he discusses in great detail in his book, End the Fed. It's basically his battle plan of how you can actually go about doing this without affecting uh, millions and millions of Americans. Now, uh, over the years, people have been very reluctant to call for an audit of the Federal Reserve, and I think that's because of the name. Uh, they think, well, we can't audit them. But actually, they're not part of the federal government. They're a private institution. So that'd be like saying, we can't audit Federal Express. You know, and the thing is, the Federal Reserve is actually a monstrous bureaucracy that's responsible and is responsible for millions and millions of lives all around the world, uh, not just in America. Now, another big issue, of course, is health care. Uh, what would he do about health care? Well, first, he would repeal Obamacare, because Obamacare is a mandate that the federal government places on people forcing you to purchase something. And, of course, a free society should have no mandates. Instead, he would, he would encourage uh, having private savings accounts, uh, health savings accounts. And, of course, you can also get regular health insurance. Um, now, his views on taxes have long been uh, uh, the same. Uh, he doesn't like taxes on the federal level. 
he thinks that taxes should stay at a local level so they can help your schools and, and local jobs and local uh, you know, security. So he would repeal the 16th Amendment, which would eliminate the income tax. The, there shouldn't be federal taxes, only state. Now, jobs is a tricky one because so many of our manufacturing companies have actually moved overseas uh, because they don't you know, like the re taxes and regulations. So Ron Paul's suggesting, well, well, let's lower the taxes and give them some incentives to come back over here, open some manufacturing plants here, and employ Americans. Um, and I think another uh, thing that would really help out jobs is that he would uh, legalize hemp and, uh, and marijuana. And, um, and that would do great. That would, co that would actually create hundreds of thousands of jobs easily because hemp is a great source of fuel, fiber, paper, food, and medicine. Uh, not only that, but it would uh, end the drug wars and it would release so many innocent people from uh, prison who are in there for nonviolent drug offenses. Um, that would also help us out, I think, with immigration because the drug war would be over. So that means that I don't think so many people would be so eager to, to jump over here. But of course, uh, what we would do is we would secure the borders. Ron Paul says, well, we would get all the US troops. They would start defending our borders. And we would do legal immigration the way we always did in the past, where you go through a process. Now, as far as defense goes, boy, we do not have to worry about uh, defense as long as Ron Paul's president, because we're going to have the biggest army in the world uh, here at home defending us. Nobody's going to want to attack us. We're going to have this huge army of, of people here ready to defend us, but not ready to go and attack uh, countries, uh, not to be malicious. Um, and of course, Ron Paul believes in a free market. Free market means free trade, enhanced responsibilities for businesses. So if a business fails, it fails. No bailouts, no handouts, no subsidies. It's like if I sell ice cream and it doesn't taste very good and my neighbor sells awesome ice cream, they're gonna all buy his. I might go out of business. It's like the people vote on which ice cream they like better. So I say we should vote on the better ice cream. Uh, I think we should vote for Ron Paul. He's the best person for the job. So what we should do is look at his plan and share the ideas if we agree with them. Because I think right now is the time that we can actually take back the power from this federal machine that exists. Um, thank you. I wasn't going to say federal. <laughs>